I am 10, and you're 42. Time flies fast, and all of a sudden I'll be 42, just like you. And I wonder, when I call you dad, will you call me dad too? And this story's about how I talk to you, and I want to be you someday. Now there's teeth to be brushed and beds to be made. Flowers don't bloom in the shade. Today I am 10, I'll be 11 in June. Dad, did you see? I got this guitar. Now I'm playing it till all my fingers fall off. I have to go now, but no, I'm coming home soon. And the story's about how I talk to you And how I travel far away Now there's songs to be sung and music to play Flowers Especially me. To me, he's a giant, even though he's 5'8 and 5'9 if you ask his driver's license. <laughs> In the mornings, I get up early to watch the ESPN Top 10 Plays of the Day with him. And after that, I follow him around the house in his dress shoes that are 10 sizes too big. At night, after mom and my older sister Kaylee go to bed, we play cards till late. On Fridays, dad takes me to soccer practice. I overhear him say that he's worried about signing me up because I'm a lot shorter than the other kids. And sure enough, when I get out there and captains choose teams, I'm picked last out of everyone. Even though I know I'm not the worst player, trust me. And still, it doesn't end there. As we're prepping for our first game tomorrow, we're going through a rite of passage that every rec league soccer kid goes through. Getting our jersey numbers, right? Our identities. Coach calls us in, huddle up, let's begin. My destiny awaits. Today my legend grows, no. Teammates may come and go, but, well, your numbers, your fate. Number one is the goalkeeper. Number one is the team leader. Number one is the lone soldier, sitting all by himself. And number one has got a savior complex. Number one has got behavior problems. Number one doesn't accept anybody else's help. That's a pretty good gig. So I start thinking, what about the other numbers? What do they mean? Oh me, oh me, what number will I be? And then I hear my name. It's number two. Number two, the whole world is watching you. And now let's see what you can do. The whole world is watching you. So coach, number two, it's pretty good, right? What? Yeah, coach, you know, you just sang that whole song. Number one to the goalkeeper, team leader, savior complex, all that stuff. You know, what about number two? What does that mean? Jacob, what are you even talking about? <laughs> well, coach, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, every number has a meaning, so what does number two reveal? Jacob, look me in the eyes. T-shirts are ordered by size, so you're number two, because you're the scrawniest kid on the field. Right, number one's reserved for the goalkeeper, and then it goes from tiny to normal to large. Got it? 
Okay. Oh. Uh, don't worry about it. You're just a late bloomer, right? You'll be a bigger number next year. Except next year I'm still number two. And every year I hear that, oh, you'll be a higher number next year. You'll be number three or four or five or eight. And every year I hear, you know, don't worry, you're just a late bloomer. And you'll grow next year. Well, have you ever seen a flower that's late to bloom? That's springing up three months after June? That's clinging on so tight to its roots that it can't shake in the wind though it's trying to? And I'm just standing here way after spring and I'm waiting but nothing's happening. And all my friends have new songs they can sing but a late bloom gets no spring awakening. And I wonder, have all the bees gone to bed? Have I missed my prime time without placing a bet? And the late bloom hunkers down underground, puddles around its roots, and lays its head to rest and just thinks. And thinks. And thinks. You know, what even really makes a flower at all? Is it how straight your stem is when you're standing tall? Is it how you react when your back's to the wall? Or how tall the ruler says you are when your back's to the wall? And how long does it take a late bloom before it starts sprouting from the ground and stops being ignored? Because no matter how fast I run, I can't catch up anymore. And all my friends have sprouted, and I'm stuck to the floor. So I'll hold on to my roots until I find out for sure. Two. Number two, the whole world is watching you. What can you do? Now let's see. The whole world is watching me. If dad is a giant to me and I'm only number two, then how can I ever be like him? On the car ride home from practice, I get the courage to ask him a few questions after a few songs on the radio. Dad, were you always the shortest of your friends? Dad, when did you hit a growth spurt? Dad, when did you grow past five feet tall? When did you get muscles? When did you get a mustache? When did you get a girlfriend? Dad, were you always picked last for sports? Dad, were you always number two? Dad, are, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Jacob, relax and take a seat And smile and say hi To all the people that you meet And take a minute Take a breath and count to three. There's plenty time to get to where you say you want to be. And if you're feeling two feet tall, well, you've got that much room to grow. If you're feeling left behind, you've got more places to go. In half the time, you'll be twice the size. I promise you, I know. So are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. find people who love you, you won't always realize till you're riding in their car and you're not afraid to close your eyes. So take a minute and take a breath and hold it in. There's a lot of growing up between a grown-up and a kid. And if you're feeling two feet tall, well, you've got that much room to grow. If you're feeling left behind, You've got more places to go In half the time you'll be twice the size I promise you I know So are we there yet? No, we're not there yet We're here Are 
we there yet? It's a question every parent knows on every car ride in the rain or shine or snow. So take a minute, take a breath and close your eyes and then turn into the skids and learn to take it in your stride. And if you're feeling two feet tall, well, you've got that much room to grow. If you're feeling left behind, well, you've got more places to go. And half the time you'll be twice the size, I promise you I know. So are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Because we're here. Jacob, take it one day at a time. Take it one day. What, what does that even mean, take it one day at a time? <laughs> I go back to listening to songs on the radio, and when I'm with Dad, he doesn't really sing along in the car. He thinks he's tone deaf. But when I'm with Mom, she usually sings with me. With her, it's different. We sing and we dance. We laugh. We're just silly. And one day, Mom calls me over to the piano. See this, Jacob? Say you're playing jazz. Loosen up, stay on beat, dance around and tap your feet. Take it, just don't make it your career. You bring music into your life. From the start, you will hate it.
Still, I'll wake up early to watch the ESPN Top 10 Plays of the Day with Dad. And I'll still wake up early enough to annoy all of my friends. At six in the morning, I dial my best friend Ben Schaefer, promptly waking up his home. Hey, it's Jacob, are you free? It's 6 a.m., where else would I be? Are you doing anything today? No. Well, we could reenact this dream I had, pretend we're in my favorite band, or we could high jump fences with pogo stick shoes. Or we could steal your sister's hair dye and give ourselves frosted tips. Or we could just go on YouTube. That's cool, too. Now we could learn how to be ninjas or watch soccer highlight reels. Cause on the internet, the truth gets revealed. Hey, I heard my cousin say this word the day before yesterday. He got in trouble with his teacher. F-U-C-K, type it in, add.com, press send. You know what it means? No, me neither. <laughs> Two ten-year-olds off to internet explore. Two ten-year-olds and their first time seeing porn. Ben and I freak out, and we turn off the computer, and we run outside as fast as we can. Uh, we pretend like nothing happens, and uh, we just go back to playing soccer outside. We're on the same team this year, and Ben's number four, and I'm number two, and next year Ben hits a growth spurt. He's number five next year, and then six, eight, eleven, but when I walk into the building on the first day of high school, I'm still number two. All the kids look huge to me, like they've already been married and divorced already. And I'm 15 years old now, but still feel trapped in a 10 year old's body. Dad says don't worry, but how can I not when Ben has chest hair now, and Jordan, he has a neck beard, and Chris, I heard he had sex with a girl and he didn't wear a condom, and when the girl's dad walked in, he chased him out of the house. <laughs> Meanwhile, all I have is awkward boners in the middle of class that just will not go away. <laughs> I'm in the middle of history class with one of these when I hear Ben and Jordan and Chris uh, talking about how hot Megan Fox is and the Transformers movie that they saw last week. I agree, even though I've never heard of the movie or who Megan Fox is. But when I get home later that day from school, I go to the computer room and I turn on the computer, I turn off the lights, and I type in the search bar. Megan Fox. A dazzling galaxy of stars made with the bluest eyes. Look too long, you might go blind. Where the cosmos move so fast, a spark before they fade to black. Look long enough, you might find. It's an endless dimension, a space without a sense of time. It's almost too much to touch. Where every fault and crater evaporates into a vapor. And with you, I feel enough. Maybe you can teach me how to love. 
or at the very least teach me how to have a good time. <laughs> And I look over my shoulder every five seconds because I'm absolutely terrified of being caught. So I make a routine when I hear someone coming. I pull up my pants, I turn on the lights, I close the browser tab of Megan Fox, thus opening another tab with my homework on it, and I throw away the tissues. And I practice the routine. I get it down to about four seconds, pretty smooth. Coast is clear. And every night, I look up, Megan Fox. Megan Fox, hot. Megan Fox, hot boobs. <laughs> hot boobs. Your novelty, your New York, who I've never seen before. I'm the moth and you're the flame. You make me shake and shock and rock me to my very core. And I don't even know your name. Or maybe I don't know, but I'm kind of freaked out when it's over. My eyes hurt just from looking at the screen a lot, and I go to bed exhausted, but the moments of release and escape make it all worth it. Obviously, I don't tell Dad about this, but it's weird. This is the biggest thing that's happening to me becoming a man, and I can't tell the biggest man in my life. Anyways, I keep practicing my routine. Pants, lights, tabs, Tissues. Pants, lights, tabs, tissues. Pants, lights, tabs, tissues. <laughs> Four seconds. Pretty good. And when I check over, when I look, coast is clear. Where was I? Hot boobs, right? Hot boobs. Hot boobs, girls. Hot girls, boobs. <laughs> no clothes. <laughs> over my shoulder. In my eyes there is beauty and I'm the beholder. Behind closed doors you spring to life. Like in Toy Story when the parents leave. Hot girls, boobs, bikinis. with this girl at school, Sienna. Ben and Jordan and Chris all said that she's cute and that I should ask her out. I agree. I should ask her out, and I feel like I need to kiss her to play catch up with my friends. Except I have no idea how to kiss a girl, and I have way too much fake pride to ask my friends for help. <laughs> Normally I talk to dad about this kind of thing, but I still feel embarrassed from what I watched on the screen last night. So I do a little bit of research. I look up, hot girls kissing, hot girls kissing, no clothes, hot girls nude kissing, hot nude girls kissing. <laughs> Perfect. Every scene starts with a dry kiss, and that leads to everything else, so now I know what to do. My phone lights up. my lips and I'll steal a lone dry kiss. Oh 
scene that I watched last night. Oh my god. I didn't practice how to put the seats down for car sex. Uh, oh my god. Her mouth is getting closer. Should I move my head? Tilt it? Rotate? Angle? Uh, should I close my eyes? Half blink? Uh, close? I don't know. Uh, her mouth is getting closer. Oh my god. Why didn't I put gum in the car and her hand is coming closer to mine? <laughs> how do I hold hands? They never hold hands in those scenes, right? They never hold hands. So that seems more foreign to me than sex, and we peck on the lips. Well, we, we mostly bump noses. <laughs> and then she leaves the car, and she says, bye. Wow. <laughs> Things aren't going as planned. I'm doing the best I can. If you ever text me again, I won't respond to you. I'll wear a fake mustache and glasses or dye my hair blonde. I'll go into witness protection. Pretend you don't exist. Cause yes, I'm looking for this. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't tell my friends, and I definitely don't tell Dad about that. It's, it's weak, and if I open up and show weakness, then I can't be strong like him. I refuse to take any more of that. I cut off all communication with Sienna. I'm sick of being awkward and small and, and short and skinny. I need escape. I, I need release. Where was I? Right. Hot girls kissing. Hot girls nude kissing. Hot girls, sex. I look over my shoulder and no one suspects. Galaxies come out in dazzle. The shapes and the figurine shadows dance for me. Hot girls, new sex. Look over my shoulder, hot girls, horny. <laughs> the world is mine to explore. 
I won't remember that day anymore. Hot girls, orgy. <laughs> senior year now, and I've grown a bit, but I'm still number two. <laughs> At least I don't get awkward erections in the middle of class anymore. Well, now that I think about it, I can't remember the last time I've had one of those without looking at a screen. I'm just kind of melt them down there. <laughs> Anyways, it's senior year, and Ben and Jordan and Chris were all hyping each other up for prom night. Prom night in my head is this mythical night from the 80s where we all lose our virginity, right? We all rent hotel rooms and bring our dates up to those hotel rooms, and then we have sex. Which is great, because I have seen many hotel room sex scenes, so <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I take a friend, and we go just as friends, and that's fine, because I have this idea that I'll meet someone at the after party, right? Our eyes will lock across the dance floor, and then we'll make out on the dance floor, and then we'll go up to the hotel room that Ben and I rented, and then she'll bring her friends, and we'll have a nice orgy. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> Except, I spend the whole night bouncing between my drunk friends who are not making out with their dates at a given time. And then I smoke a cigarette thinking it's a joint and freak out. And, and then I go back to my drunk friends who are now throwing up in house plants. <laughs> and then I go back to the hotel room, and there is no orgy. Reality has Fail tonight. Turn on the screen, turn off the lights. I need escape, I need release. I pretend nothing exists. Yes, sir. sorrow. I will feel nothing tomorrow. Tonight I cry myself to sleep. This is pleasure. This is pain. in my room and looking at a screen and doing my thing when I hear someone coming. I go through my routine, pants, lights, tabs, tissues. I say, come in, it's dad. He tells me that uh, mom and Kaylee are yelling at each other again. Again, <laughs> what does he mean by again? Until I learn that they've been doing that a lot lately. Dad tells me that uh, they need to leave for the hospital. I need to bring Kaylee there. Again. <laughs> again? What does he mean again? Until I learned that Kaylee's been taken out of school a couple times this year and taken to the hospital. Dad reminds me that Kaylee was diagnosed with a disease called Crohn's when she was young. Jacob, her intestines can become so inflamed that it's as if there's a fire inside of her. And and now she won't listen to what mom is saying, and, and Kaylee and mom just won't stop yelling at each other, and we need to leave. Okay. They leave, and I close the door, and I turn the screen on. Sorrow. 
I will feel nothing tomorrow. Tonight I cry myself to sleep. This is pain. How did I not know? My, my own sister, how did I not know? I don't wake up early to watch the ESPN top plays of the day because I stayed up past 3 a.m. again, looking at a screen. I don't know what time they got back from the hospital, but I know Kaylee's okay. I, I don't want to see anyone. While Dad is out there, he's a giant facing the world. I'm shrinking and hiding behind a screen, and I'm ashamed to talk to him. I, I don't think he likes me anymore, and I definitely don't like myself. With mom, it's different. We don't talk about difficult things. We usually just dance and laugh and are silly, but I'm playing jazz now, not Billy Joel. It's different. There's more complexity, color, and nuance. I don't think she gets that. Kaylee, I don't know what she's doing or where she is, but she's going off to college soon. She tells me that she needs space. I need space. <laughs> she tells me that she wants to get away. I want to get away, but while Kaylee's actually suffering and in pain, I just want to stop looking at a screen. Still, I want to do things like her. I want to go outdoors and go backpacking and skydiving. I want to get a tattoo. I was thinking about getting a tattoo. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. Anyways, I'm driving home from school, letting the radio play. I stayed up past 3 a.m. again. Yeah, I stayed up past 3 a.m. again. Anyways, I'm not mad at the world. I'm just bored and ashamed. Oh, 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 oh. I want to disappear. Oh, 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 oh. God, I wish I was anywhere. Screaming out loud in the mirror. Yeah, now I'm screaming out loud in the mirror. Anyways, the whole world is watching number two, but I've got nothing to say. I was never thinking about getting a tattoo. I'm desperate for a change, though. Anyways, now I'm sitting in the car, parked in the driveway. Oh, 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 oh. I want to disappear. When it 
came time to applying for colleges, I didn't follow Ben and Jordan and Chris. I didn't follow my friends. I sent in my applications across the country, and I boarded a plane, and I left. Now hanging in my dorm room is a 1992 med school t-shirt that Dad gave me. It smells like head and shoulders dandruff shampoo and the green futon in our house that used to be in Dad's old dorm room. After Mom and Dad finish moving me in, I take out my guitar and I open the door and I start playing.
written down all of the words I want to say to you, but I think I'm overthinking. Words are piling up like waves and stacks of paper in my brain. I know I'm slowly sinking. I need to know if I told you Just get up and go. 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 I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm trying to speak, but the words just aren't coming out. I'm about to break down to some random kid from Phoenix and he's gonna witness my life crumble into pieces and I'm trying to speak, but the words are just not coming out and my lungs hurt. <laughs> Anthony, I, I don't have an ex. And, and Bonnie Bear sounds more like a European fruit to me than a band. And, and I, I, I watch porn to the point where I, I go to bed exhausted and my eyes hurt from looking at the screen and, I just feel nothing and, and numb all the time. The pressure builds from inside out. Words are trapped inside my mouth. It takes all my strength to open. But if I tell you how I'm feeling, if I share my dark secrets, can it shed a little light on them? I need to know If I told you Would you just Get up and go 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 Jacob, you still like soccer, right? Yeah. And you still don't like being short and skinny? <laughs> yeah. And you want to be like your dad? Yeah. Well, not everything you told me is a lie. Anthony and I talked late that night. And when I wake up the next morning, I, I finally stop shaking. And I listen to the entire Bonnie Bear discography. I make more friends, and I start listening to their favorite music. It's EDM and pop punk and hip hop with 808 bass and singer-songwriters. And as I'm learning more about my friends, I'm sharing more about myself. And all this music is streaming through my ears at $4.99 a month, and it feels good. Hey, Jakey. It's Kaylee. She just got back from a weekend-long camping trip, and she's calling me off a hotspot, off a car. She brought along Mom. I think they've been talking more and, and screaming less. And I think her Crohn's is under control. Kaylee loves teaching outdoor courses at her college and she wants to move out west someday. She feels good. Hey Kaylee, what's up? Nothing much, just uh, driving back from camping. Oh, did you have fun? Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. When are you coming home? Uh, Jacob, uh, I, don't, I don't know, hopefully never. <laughs> You know, I don't mean it like that. It's just, I, I need space. And Mom and I work well together when we have space. In the liminal space between familiar faces, I 
I see a flame. I see myself. And, and Jacob, no matter how hard I try, I spread like wildfire and I burn. And I burn everybody else. In the liminal space between familiar faces, I don't like what I see. Because I don't like myself. And then I bend and I break down into my pillowcase. I am scared, confused, and overwhelmed. I want space too. And there's two days left to apply to go, so I, I figure, why not? <laughs> See, I'd like to find a space in a far unfamiliar place, and I'll leave here without a trace to become educated. I'm jumping up and overseas to further in my degree, and I'll be a little shit who seems like he's sophisticated. And all my friends will hate me on the day that I return With a thousand blurry photos of all I've seen and learned Of grass that's green and air that's fresh and seems without a flaw See, I guess that that's what happens when you study abroad <laughs> I've met new friends abroad Ones that know how to drive on the left side of the road, and ones that know how to filter stream water from the rivers when we go hiking. On these overnight trips, we talk a lot. We ask each other questions like, who's your best friend? And when was the last time you cried? And I start telling them about my awkward first kiss with Sienna, 
and I don't mind telling them how I want to be like Dad, even though we haven't really talked about anything serious in years. I start to realize I'm telling my friends this, and they're not leaving. And if it actually feels better to tell them this, maybe I can tell Dad. Anthony and all my study abroad friends are teaching me that I can do it, and Kaylee's showing me how I can do it. Now I think I actually can. Hello? Hello? Hey, Jakey, what's up? Nothing much. Dad, there's, there's something that I, I, I really need to tell you. What is it? Just get up and go. Just get up and go. I'm shaking. Dad, I, uh, for the past, I don't know how many years, I've been watching porn and it was good. And then I realized that it wasn't what I really wanted, and I've tried to stop, and I, I can't. I watch it so much, and whenever I'm lonely, or, or sad, or scared, or, or just bored, and all I do is feel nothing and, and numb all the time. When I need someone to talk to, it's replaced you. I don't think you like me anymore. I'm, I'm ashamed to talk to you. I definitely don't like myself. Jacob, just to make sure, but everything you're watching is legal, right? Yes, everything's legal. Okay. Well, I want you to know that I love you. Your hair is longer. Looks just like mine not long ago when I was your age. Your eyes more heavy since the last time I saw you. Four months seems like a lifetime. Well, those rings seem so familiar to me, they're starting to look like mine. Well, your smile still can brighten any room. And you are still my little boy. Your laughter echoes in my ears like a drum, beating soft but strong and kind. It's hard to keep control. If you need someone to hold, I will be your shoulder to cry on. I am here for you. Always. Guitar sounds sweeter when it's in your hands. I 
hope you're playing much at school. And when you come home, you can play my favorite songs. No one can take from you. Have I told you just how proud I am of you? Such a strong young man. I can't find the words to put it in a song, but maybe, just maybe, you can. It's hard to keep control. If you need someone to hold, you know, I won't be your shoulder to cry on. I am here for you. It's hard to keep control if you need someone to hold, you know. I will be your shoulder to cry on. I am here for you. Always. Always. Jacob, I will help you. And if I can't help you, I'll get you the help that you need. I love you. Take it one day at a time. Like Kaylee with mom, I, I realized that I needed to go to the farthest places to reconnect with the person that I was closest to. Now I'm back at school in the US and I force myself to go to bed without watching the screen. I go to bed and I'm not exhausted, but my dreams are different. They're replayed scenes. They're, they're violent scenes of the stuff that I used to watch. And I imagine myself <laughs> in my sleep, getting up from my desk and typing in Google searches, and and I can't fall asleep, and I, I don't want to go to sleep. So I, I start writing the scenes down. I write down descriptions of the scenes and, and my Google searches, and I, I write down about how I imagine myself getting up from my bed and, and walking to my desk. And I write love songs and, and break up letters to my virtual lovers. I write I wish I never saw you when I was 10, and thank you so much for teaching me about myself. You were my crutch when I was injured and, and the drug that I became dependent on. As I'm writing all of this down, the words start to rhyme, and I start to hear Billy Joel, and I hear extended jazz chords, and I hear Bonnie Bear, and I write down that all I can do is take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time, knowing today's the only day you can control. Oh, take it one day at a time. If everything was good, we'd never grow. The earth will make you shake and rock you to your core. The wind will bend you till you break and drop you to the floor. But one thing I've come to know is flowers don't bloom on their own. So take it one day at a time, knowing today's the only day you can control. Oh, take it one day at a time. If everything was good, we'd never grow. And petals hit the floor and fill your head with doubt. But nothing's rotten to its core even when it's on the ground. And one thing I've learned today is flowers don't bloom in the shade. So, oh, take it one day at a time. Knowing today's the only day you can control. Oh, oh, take 
take it one day at a time Oh, if everything was good, we'd never grow Today, I will call Dad. Today, I will send a video of myself dancing and send it over to Mom. Today, I will send another photo to Kaylee of a place that I want to visit someday. Today, I'll drag Anthony off his computer and beg him to play soccer with me. <laughs> Today, I will eat three meals at semi-normal times. Today, I'll catch up on sleep. Today, I'll get some work done. Today, I won't feel normal. Today, I'll still feel trapped in a 10-year-old's body. Today, I'll ask myself, when will these images fade? And today, I'll ask myself, when will I feel normal? What even is normal? Today, I'll take it one day at a time, because that's all I can take. And I'll share it, because I know sharing my darkest secrets sheds a little light on them. Today, I'll share with Dad. And today, I'll share with you. I built a room with sunken ceilings And I locked the door and I lost the key Walled up inside were all my secrets When I broke down and out I finally felt free I'll soon be 22 I'm bigger now but not yet fully grown And this is the story of how I talk to you And learn flowers don't bloom on their own Oh, today I'm 21 I'll soon be 22 Oh, just take it day by day And this is the story Of how I talk to you And learn flowers don't bloom in the shade Cause there's songs to be sung Thank you.